Hey, Rachel, how are you? I'm doing well. How are you? Good. Thank you. Um, to start, I love mystery shows. I'm obsessed with kind of, you know, trying to unpack everything that's going on. But what makes Apples Never Fall so specific is you also have these siblings who are all talking over each other at times and they're all like kind of thinking similar things, which is a very sibling thing to kind of bring to life. For you, what was the challenge of like writing something that is so specific to, you know, how siblings interact with each other with the mystery elements all playing on top of each other? Yeah, great question. It is, it's hard writing. It, it's a great challenge to write a true ensemble drama because you want to make sure everybody is vivid, everybody has a point of view, and that each of these characters didn't just meet when the show started, they've known each other for decades. So they know how to love each other, they know how to irritate each other, exactly, they know how to talk over each other, right? Um, and the trick was in writing this ensemble drama is also though, in sort of the melee of it, to make sure it's absolutely clear, that it's clear emotionally, it's clear for each character and their intentions, and it's clear in terms of character development. So what I decided to do over the course of the seven episodes is each character gets front burnered for their own episode. So we have episode one is the Delaney's, two is Amy, two is Logan, three is Amy, then Brooke, Troy, and so on. So what that let me do sort of as, as the writer was keep all the plates spinning, the, the driving mystery and the suspense of that, mm -hmm. but also say we're focusing the emotional development in this episode through this one person and go diving into their mystery and diving into their secrets. So we have time to discover, we have time to invest, and yet the mystery is always moving forward. Yeah, and when you are writing, is it ever like part of your process to stop and be like, okay, well, and if an audience is getting really into this mystery and they have to try and also solve it along with these people making sure that like the hints are there for the audience but not so necessary or is that something that just kind of happens naturally when you are writing a mystery all of the above i think there's a chunk that happens naturally but then you get it written and you're like huh in the process of writing it we learned x y and z so now we're going to go back here we're going to put a little more in here take something out here oh, wait, we have to push, like, well, one of the challenges was always sort of moving that lens of suspicion. And mm -hmm. that was sort of a learning process as we wrote the show. And I like, I always had to look at like, hmm, uh, is that lens focusing on some one particular person too soon? Okay, we got to shift it. How do we, how do we substantiate that shift? Okay, now we got to shift it again so mm -hmm. that the audience always feels... Um, you know, I hope that they never feel that they are ahead of it, that they are on this really surprising ride that's extremely enjoyable and harrowing and fun, but they are not, um, I want those shifts to always feel natural and like they're sort of unfolding naturally in the course of this driving mystery. Yeah. And I, was it also your guys' intention, like you get, you cast Sam Neill as kind of the first person we're putting our eyes on and like suspect, like our suspect but it's Sam Neill. So like people, especially in my generation are like, no, that's Alan Grant. He would never do so. like, we have that like very real and deep admiration for him. Yeah. Is it, was that always your intention of like casting somebody who was beloved in that role? So you do have to yeah. grapple with, well, do I just love this actor or is it like part of the character that I'm supposed to love him kind of deal? That's exactly, absolutely it. I, I think that's kind of inherent to the drama itself, like that everybody within them, Selves, there's the mystery of the show, then there's the mysteries within each character. And yeah. Stan, we find out, has many mysteries. And, you know, having someone like Sam Neill, who's an incredible performer, but also beloved as a performer, to suddenly pay a, play a character, you're like, wait a minute, a man of many mysteries, a man of, of many contradictions, you know, and, and that um, who is loved and feared, those two things can exist at the same mm -hmm. time, you know? Um, and I think, I, I hope it was quite fun for him as well to uncork that. Um, he seemed to have a good time. Uh, I know he had a good time. Um, but yeah, I think that was very important because you want to cast somebody who you don't think could do it. You know, you don't want, yeah. you don't want to play the end at the beginning and, uh, that, that, that it is someone as beloved as him and as, as warm 
as he is and honestly like such a gentleman um should be like how not just could he have done it but how could he have done it and i think that's the really important question when you're looking at a stand delaney yeah awesome thank you so much for talking to me i really appreciate it and i can't wait for people to get to see the show thank you for your time i appreciate it you have a great day awesome you too